I mean, if we go all the way back, you know, in college, I, I had quite a few, um, I don't know, you can call them prestigious internships, I guess. I, I started with Red Bull, um, you know, in their marketing department, kind of helping um, helping market Red Bull across campus um, and, you know, got to lot, do a lot of cool things with them, as, as you can imagine. Um, yeah, that's, then, that seemed to go well. There's a lot of kids drinking that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still a Red Bull fan. Uh, yeah. We're still a Red Bull family for sure. Um, and then, you know, transition to an internship at Dell, where it was, you know, more on corporate marketing, kind of high level, um, you know, um, branded solutions. And then from there, went over to Marcus, Microsoft um, and kind of the part, a partner program. Um, and that kind of turned into a full time job with Microsoft, helping to need one of their um, like SQL database partner programs kind of globally um, during my senior year of college. And then from there, kind of the first full time job after college was at Facebook. Um, and that was in digital advertising. I was kind of an account manager for, for high growth e commerce advertisers, helping anyone from, you know, Johnsonville sausages to Pacific Life Insurance to, to small e commerce companies really grow. And that was when you could kind of put money in Facebook and get money out of Facebook. It was, you know, a, a really good time for advertisers to be on the platform. And, and um, yeah, I love that job more on the people side of it. I just got to meet with clients and CEOs and, um, and you know, had about a book of business of, of 50 people. Um, so it was just like constant interaction, you know, helping people in their business. And I'd say that's where you know, the, the consulting side of, um, I don't know, my, just kind of where, where I transitioned into more of an agency after that, um, kind of took that same approach of, you know, a lot of times at Facebook, it was the, the ads were working. So like the only roadblocks I had was like, how do they get more inventory? How do they get financing? How do they, you know, remove these other roadblocks on their business to be able to spend, uh, you know, a lot more money. And so kind of take, took that same approach and, um, and built a little agency, so was, and, it was, uh, part, was part of your agency to really help people master the Facebook uh, algorithms and such? Yeah, yeah, I definitely say that with a large part. A lot of our clients were, were primarily, um, you know, Facebook ads clients. And so we took it from a, a very financial perspective of, you know, what can you afford? How do you make sure your business strategy kind of plays into, you know, how Facebook serves the ads? And then, um, you know, we would kind of coach them on, on what we need from a creative perspective. Um, product perspective to really make sure that there was, you know, they were successful on the platform. Um, and so, yeah, that was really my first business. And, you know, that is, you know, kind of what started everything. It was called impact industry marketing. And, you know, the, before it kind of took off, I had had this, you know, this, this vision or this, like, this goal to kind of like make a greater impact, you know, in, um, in business. And, you know, so I put together the plan of, hey, let's go buy businesses. And this is like 2019 before it was popular on Twitter and, you know, like kind of blew up in the last couple of years. Um, and so, you know, put together the plan, started reaching out to my network, started reaching out to some, um, you know, people I'd maintained relationships with over the years. Um, and, you know, then the agency took off. It was like, first couple of months, it was like 10K, 20K, you know, just like really rapidly we were at, you know, uh, over a um, $300,000 run rate by the end of the first year.